We are two weeks away from the election and the political climate is only heating up. WIFR reporter Sydney Stoffregan talks with a former politician who says powerful political opinions make it difficult to avoid escalating conversations. Both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump claim their opponents aren't fit for office and trade barbs often. But it's the foul language and personal attacks that's brought the public in on the fight. It really backfired. Whether red or blue, political warfare is more aggressive than ever, with personal attacks hitting further below the belt than any candidates have gone before. Barb Gioletto with the Winnebago County Citizens for Choice remembers her run for office in the 90s. Without her blessing, her campaign ran a controversial ad that turned her opponent into a large cat. Recalling the backlash she faced then, now she says people are all too accepting of slander. I believe that if you say something bad about someone else, then it all comes back to you and makes you look pretty darn bad. As tension between the candidates burns, it lights a flame in the public eye. With the election looming in the distance, licensed clinical social worker Kevin Polkey says people need to remember the relationships with our loved ones mean more than any election. The person that we want to, to win wins. How do we do that with grace? And if our the, the party or the person who we want to win um, loses, how do we do that with grace? Because that's really more about the relationship. Gioletto says it's difficult for her to understand how people can be on the side of an unruly candidate, but she says it's these powerful opinions that are bringing people to the polls. It's come down to their personal lives, and that is the main reason why women are really involved more than ever. They want to be involved. In 2022, only 8% of U.S. adults reported seeking emotional therapy after the 2020 election, including 11% of Democrat and 6% of Republican respondents. Thank you, Sydney. And the Winnebago County Citizens for Choice will hold a rally November 2nd at 10 a.m. at the Rockford Women's Suffrage Plaza at the Riverfront YMCA. Donald Trump.